Hey my Libra loves, welcome to Libra Life Tarot. Thank you guys so much for coming through, clicking on the video. If you're here for the first time, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. So this is gonna be for my um, Libras who are dealing with fire signs, okay? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into the messages. Please remember that these are general. Only take what resonates for you. If it does not fit, please don't try to make it. If it's not your story, please don't take it. Okay. So um, remember that this could be past, present, or future energy. I try to focus more on the current, but it could be past, present, or future, okay? Also, energy and time are fluid. So I could be picking up on your energy, the energy of this person, someone around you or them, or someone that you're thinking about who's thinking about you, right? All right. So let's hop into it. If you guys are interested in a personal read, the information is in the description box below. For Libra, dealing with a fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Here he is. What are the messages here? I was about to say, what are the questions? I feel like you guys have questions for a fire sign, or maybe a fire sign has questions for you. Three of Wands could be done with the Aries, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They showing up here already. Okay. So I feel like you have some questions for a fire sign, or they have questions for you, or both. Okay. Libra dealing with fire sign. Holy, look, fire. They're showing up. Yeah. I feel like they showing up. It's, and it's so crazy because in the other readings that I did, the Libra with water and, and fire, I mean, and uh, air and earth, earth, earth signs showed up a little more than any other sign, but the water and the air, it was like very hard to get those signs to show up. Uh, fire is like, they're not here to play no games. They showing the fuck up. They got some shit on their mind. They got to get off their chest. Okay. <laughs> All right, um, Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Granny Angel, and Spirit, God, Spirit Team, please give me clear and accurate messages for Libras at this time. Please and thank you. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Ashe, I pray that any negative energy, spell work, evil eyes being sent this way be returned to send us fold and are returned and are transmuted into more positive energy. Thank you so much, Holy Spirit, Ashe. Amen. All right, guys, Libra dealing with fire. I'm gonna get one more shuffle. I'm hearing closure and I'm hearing the end or something about at the end. And I just saw the death card and the world card. So there could be something coming to an end or you maybe need some type of closure or something like that here. Okay. Libra, then on the fire. Please and thank you. So I'm here dealing with a Leo. A single Leo who wants to give you something. Or a Leo wants to offer you something, sees that you're single, you could be moving on, okay? Leo, I mean, I'm sorry, Libra dealing with fire. Okay. Libra dealing with fire. I'm telling y'all, these cards want to speak. Okay, with the four of swords and the five of pentacles in reverse, I'm hearing, don't leave me, girl. Please stay with me tonight. Do, 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 do. Oh, if you're here for the first time, I randomly get channel messages through songs. You may hear me say some names or some birth dates or any other thing that comes through. So if you don't want to be a part of that, you can go ahead and go to the next video because it'll probably be coming out. Okay. Um, but yeah. So somebody doesn't want you to leave. This Horus Swords talks about not healing from something here, okay? And then the Five of Pentacles um, talks about not wanting to be left out in the cold or not being left out in the cold here. So somebody may be afraid that you're going to walk away and leave them out in the cold and they don't want that or something like that is what I'm getting here, okay? So somebody's like, don't leave me, stay with me tonight, okay? Somebody's um, hoping that you don't leave. Yeah, Nine of Wands. They're trying to block you from leaving. They're trying to stop you. Damn. This person is not playing about you, uh, Libra. Gosh, there's nothing. Wow, the fire is showing up here. Judgment. Sagittarius energy out here heavy right now. Yeah, this person, it's like they want to 
I'm getting like reinvent. Somebody wants to reinvent themselves or or like they want this situation to rise from the ashes. If they like the death card I saw earlier, it's like whatever was ended, they want to reawaken the situation here, okay? All of whatever you guys are going through, whatever chaos, destruction, um whatever it is right here, this person wants to rise from the ashes. They want to be uh triumphant in in holding on to this connection okay Libra the limit fire why is this is giving me Hercules I'm gonna tell y'all hold on just a second hold on yeah somebody's in like despair they're like don't leave me four of wands here they're like stay home come home here I love you okay I will take care of you I got you two of cups like geez we see that yeah there's a death card see how she's, you know, <laughs> y'all see, okay. And then in the in the um, this is Scorpio energy. So this person could have Scorpio in their chart, or maybe you do. Um, y'all know on Hercules, the lovers. One of you can have Gemini in your chart. Yeah, this person. Somebody, I feel like somebody not accepting something. This may be a situation that's over with the Nine of Swords here. Um, somebody may be offering a new start, a new beginning. You may be turning them down here. I just saw the Four of Cups, which talks about a missed opportunity. So you may be turning this person down or either um, with the Nine of Swords here. Somebody's in despair about a new beginning that you may be having here, okay? they You may be, you know, rising from the ashes yourself here and coming out, starting something new here. You could have blocked this person off and you're coming out with some type of new, vibrant, beautiful energy. You could be talking to other people here, like Libra outside in this piece. And then this person is like, oh no, Libra's outside. Shit, right? Um... But Hercules, the thing I was saying about Hercules, y'all remember um, in the movie, the cartoon, um, where he had to save Meg and he had to go into the, the little river with all the dead people and stuff and retrieve her soul, right? This is giving me that. I don't know why. Oh my gosh. Okay, I just got a song. Um I realized that I lost my soul. Oh my Libra. So this fire sign. Okay, it's Don't Take Your Love Away by Tank. Is it Tank? Don't take your love. Avant. I think it's Avant. Um, but yeah, there's a part where he was like, Now I realize that I lost my soul. Don't take your love away. Don't take your love away from me. I need you. Oh, wow. Hmm. Okay, let's clarify. This person does not want you to take your love away. They are really worried or in some type of despair here or something that you're going to go off and have a whole new beginning here. They could be trying to block this new beginning, this new you, or stop you in some type of way. Or, yeah, I feel like they're trying to block you with this Nine of Wands here. This person could have Sagittarius in their chart, or you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Um, Yeah, let's clarify. Yeah, Six of Cups. This could be somebody that you've known for like a long time here that you have a lot of love for with the Ace of Cups showing up. Yeah, Six of Cups, Ace of Cups. It could be somebody that you have a lot of love for, you've known for a long time. Six of Cups, somebody from your childhood um, or something. But there's some type of secrecy here or somebody is like hiding something. Somebody may be hiding their feelings or emotions here with the High Priestess and the uh, Ace of Cups. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles, somebody's holding back how they really feel or their emotions. We were dealing with, yep, see, holding back. The Four of Pentacles is the card of holding back, of being selfish here, yep. And there's the damn Knight of Swords. 
Damn, there's the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Wands. And we got both the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Wands here. So you can be seeing 999. That could be very significant um, here. I could be connecting with my September Libras with the number nine here. Your, your life path number could be nine, five, or four. Yeah. You could be seeing like 994, 499. There's another four, 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 nine, 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 four, 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 nine, nine, whatever. Okay. You could be seeing those numbers. And I'm getting something, I'm getting tower because I'm hearing the stability is crumbling. So the, the stability of this relationship could seem to be crumbling to somebody. And they're trying to hold on to um, like the last little strand or whatever that they can hold on to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. This isn't me. But this is what I, what they just showed me. Okay, you know how you know how the men that go bald and they have that <laughs> they have the hair like they have a little hair here like a little bit and then this is completely bald but then they have like four or five little strands oh it's giving me Mr. Spacely from like the um the Jetsons he had like those four or five little hairs that he would comb over the little ball spot it's giving me that because I said somebody's trying to hold on to the last little strand of hope or whatever and it's like yeah, it's like that like that holding on type energy somebody could feel you know it's slipping away but they're still trying to hold on to it and that's so funny because the channel messages that I the channel song that I posted this morning at like six in the morning was um don't want to lose your love by black street I think and then they're giving me that that part where they said um uh, I can't let you slip away, slip away. I don't want to lose your love, don't want to lose it. Yeah, they're giving me, oh, this person is like really trying to hold on to you. But there's some deception here. Yeah, with the seven of swords with the lovers and the strength here. So some of you could be dealing with the Leo. We're talking about fire signs. So you got Leo showing up here. Um, Yeah. There's some type of deception or distrust here in this union. And somebody could be holding back their energy or they're holding back their emotions. They're holding back their hurt or that pain. There's that tower that I was just talking about here. This person is hurting, but they're holding it back. But it's like, I don't know. Somebody's not being honest about something, about their feelings or their emotions or something. Or you don't trust this person or this person doesn't trust you. What's the um, four swords in reverse? Um, yeah, wow. The four swords I was just about to say in the upright talks about healing, okay? The three of swords is being heartbroken. Some This person isn't healing. They're not healing from something. Now, Libra, this four of swords is your energy, so it could be you not healing from something. But I, I feel like this person, yeah, nine of swords, they're still in despair about like a past situation or something like that or a situation something that happened between you two why is the four swords in reverse this person is not telling the truth about how hurt they are okay two of wands aries energy with the king of swords okay I just feel like this person isn't being honest about how hurt they are over some some type of situation here. Ten of Wands, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, they're stressed out. They they could also be stressed out about a decision or a choice that they have to make with the Two of Wands here. This person could need to get something off of their chest here because with the truth here the three of swords, you know, that's the three of swords that we just saw with the heartbreak, right? In the reverse. And this is like the, the Ace of Swords, the truth. So I'm just feeling like this person is still in the Three of Swords energy when they, they're not being truthful about how hurt they are or something like that. They're holding on to some type of information, conversation or something. They're stressed out about a choice or a decision that they need to make when it comes to you. Yeah, see, five of um, wands being in their head. Mentally, Leo, you got every all the fire signs showing up here. Every Leo Sagittarius. What's the um, Five of Pentacles in reverse, please? 
see five five what's the five of pentacles in reverse this person doesn't want you to leave them out in the cold they don't want you to walk away from them. They don't want you to ghost them. They don't want you. They don't want to be left out in the cold or any of that here. They're going to try to stop this. If you try to leave this person, they're going to try to stop this with the with the nine of wands here. What's the five of pentacles in reverse? I'm hearing, please don't go. See, I, wow, nine of wands in the reverse. They can't stop you. The nine of wands, I just said they're going to try to block you, stop you from walking away from them or leaving them out in the cold. Then the nine of wands came out in the reverse. They can't stop you. They're not going to be able to stop you from walking away or they're not going to be able to block you. Yeah, two of pentacles. They're going to try though. They're trying to figure out a way to try. They're going to try. Somebody could be born in 92. Somebody could be 29. 95 is here. 59 is here. 45, 54 is here. Okay. Something about 2010 could be significant here. 2009. Something about 2009 could be significant. Something about 10 years maybe okay what's the nine of wands in the upright Whew, what's the nine of wands in the upright see page of pentacles they're gonna try to make you an offer but i oh gosh and i'm hearing an offer you can't refuse but this page of pentacles it's an offer but it's like a small offer you know what i'm saying it's like a childish type of offer it's giving me have y'all ever seen um why do you give me so many like movies on references and stuff uh what is it called the the magician's apprentice or the some apprentice with um nicholas cage and i don't know his name but the the guy from 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 the dragon movie the dragon cartoon anyway Nicholas Cage it's like it was like the the warlock's apprentice or the magician's apprentice or something like that and it's giving me this page of pentacles is giving me like a beginner like a magician right that's trying to do some type of spell and they can only get like a little spark and not really the full effect of the spell and it's like this is what this person is offering you but like this is what's coming to you like somebody who can give you the full effect the full spark is coming on the end on the other side of this i heard resistance is futile okay four of cups talks about somebody missing out on an opportunity Yeah, it's like it's like you don't even see this person's offer or I'm hearing something about a dandelion. Something about dandelions. Lions could be a, a, a Leo. Yeah, this person watches you, possibly stalks you, pays of all uh, swords here. Five of Cups, they're in some type of despair or hurt or Something like that with the Five of Cups, some type of regret, Knight of Swords. They could regret not saying something. This person may feel like they missed out on the opportunity to like say something to you or tell you how they feel or tell you some type of truth here. There's somebody who feels like they should have, they missed an opportunity to say something to you or to, you know, be honest with you or something. Because they were in this toxic energy with the Devil card. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Now, shit. Now they're in regret about that. What's the judgment? What's the judgment? Ace of Cups, Seven of Cups, the Lovers. This is giving me options. You're emerging new. 
you're rising like the phoenix from the ashes and you're having a whole bunch of different options here okay in love there are a lot of people that's attracted to you and this person is that's why they're in this nine of swords energy because they know that you got new opportunities better options and other things coming to you or other options coming to you here um and this is why they're in this nine of swords because you have all of these options when it comes to love yeah there's that magician with the hierophant then the justice your energy the eight of wands i feel like you guys are getting what you've been manifesting here but there's still some type of conflict in the background from a past person dealing with the past person or somebody that you know now this could be this person rising as a new emerged healed person with this um judgment with this phoenix here and they may be coming in to make you an offer i'm also feeling like somebody's confused about a choice of what offer to make to, to somebody so this person could be trying to choose between you and another person that could be what this nine of swords is about or you're um gonna have to try to choose between or you're gonna be moving on or something because you know we did see that seven of swords that deceit so this person could be having you in a third party they could be trying to they could have to choose between you and someone else here that could be why they're in this nine of swords what's the nine of swords yep I can't make it up. Three of cups on the bottom of the damn deck. I just said it could be a third party. Yeah, this person's holding on. To, why do I feel like this person is trying to hold on to multiple people or both people? Nine of swords. Or they want to have options. Like this is somebody who likes to have options. Okay, we're getting three. And see, I've been getting three cards coming out at a damn time to clarify. That didn't happen for nobody else when I did these readings. So, yeah, I'm definitely feeling third-party energy, okay? It could be a Aquarius, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Um, This is Leo energy right here. Gemini is out here. But we're clarifying the Nine of Swords. This despair. This person is worried about an ending or a tower moment here with somebody here. Somebody that they probably live with or in a relationship with with this four of wands here there could have been like that didn't i say at the beginning something about the crumbling of a foundation the damn four of wands is a solid foundation the four in the four is like represents foundation the four of wands talks about a foundation stability a home and then you got the damn tower crumbling right here. It talks about an ending, a breakup, a separation, a divorce, a shocking event. I said the crumbling of a fucking foundation. Somebody's foundation was or is crumbling with an Aquarius, um, a Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Leo energy and Gemini is here. Somebody's in despair or worried about the foundation of something crumbling here. Because they decided to be in a third party or put somebody in a third party yeah the death they're worrying about something coming to an end here or in despair over an ending what's the ace of pentacles there's good news coming in with the damn um page of staff page of staffs page look Fire energy is not shy about showing the fuck up. I'm going to tell you that right now. You got the Knight of Wands, Eight of Wands, and the King of Wands. The Wands are Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They not shy about showing up. They here. This person is going to communicate with you. They want to talk to you. They could want to talk about some sexual shit. There, there could be a lot of passion and chemistry in this connection too. Like this person, this could be a very like sexual connection. I just saw 2344 on the timer. But five of pentacles is here. Nine of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you pulled your energy back from this person. Or you're walking away from this person or ghosting this person. Because seven of swords, you don't trust them. There's some distrust here. Yeah, the hierophant, I mean, sorry, the hermit. You feel like you need to pull back on, in your, on your energy. And you need to go within and retreat and heal a little bit more. Maybe this person needs to heal a little bit more from something. Strength card, Leo energy. Yeah, they're trying to make a decision though. 
And I feel like it's between you and another person, but I feel like you may not know this, so but you feel like there's something or some type of blockage or some type of reason that this person is holding back from you or trying to hold you back or that you can't trust this person. And that's why. What's the Ace of Pentacles? Okay, the Three of Swords came out crossed. So I'm getting like healing still happening, healing still going on. The Three of Swords is Libra energy. So you may be, I feel like you're just at like a crossroads or something with this. Yeah, three of cups is here. Wow, you got three three showing up. Somebody could be 33. March the 3rd could be significant. I'm seeing three three four out here. Wow, you got the Empress showing up. And the Magician. Yeah, I feel like you've been, you're manifesting. You're manifesting a real connection. And I don't want to say real connection like this isn't a real connection. I don't know. But I don't know if it's a real connection, a better connection or something like that. But you're manifesting a new connection. Yeah, because you don't trust this person with the moon card, the ten of swords. There's some type of betrayal here or some type of ending that's coming here. Spitting on the seven of swords again. Okay. Clarifying the ace of pentacles. Yeah, you got the ace of wands out here. New, new, new. New coming in. The ace of pentacles talks about... Um, prosperity it talks about abundance it talks about blessings it talks about meeting a new person the ace of wands talks about a passion and new start new beginnings anytime you see aces it talk about new beginnings the empress is your energy okay um virgo i mean you can have virgo in your chart but taurus uh libra energy and then the three of wands is a manifesting energy and a waiting energy waiting on your ships to come in waiting on the good news waiting on what's coming to you what's coming is the ace of pentacles a whole new damn beginning i feel like you guys have disconnected from this situation here okay and i'm hearing like their worst fears are coming true yeah nine of wands nine of swords let's put it on again this person's worst fear is you realizing something or coming to some type of realizations about them where you walking away from them or disconnecting with them but with this three of swords three of cups i'm still feeling like there's a third party situation there's something that this person is not telling you and that's why you're deciding to you know look elsewhere or to you know manifest see i see see boy i can't Yep, at a crossroads. I told you, multiple options needing to make a decision. Somebody thought the grass is greener on the other side, but they ended up in a toxic ass relationship here. Now they're going through an awakening or somebody's going through an awakening. This is epiphanies. This could be you having epiphanies about this person. You could have thought that this person was a good option for you, but it turned out to be a toxic situation here, okay? Yep, and I told you this person was trying to choose between you and the third party. Crossroads with the freaking third party and the snake. Snake. This person is being tempted by a third party. Yeah. Even if you're in a relationship with this person, you guys could be you guys could be in a new relationship with the um after you walk away from this person or break up from this person, you got new love proposal and relationship. This person could have proposed a new relationship with you after they broke up with this third party, but I feel like they're still dealing with this third party. Storm warning. Another tower energy. Something is falling apart. The crumbling of the foundation. I'm telling you. Date. You could be out in these streets dating, rolling the dice, getting back out there, getting into a new relationship here. Oh, this person. And I told you, that's why this person in the Nine of Swords is devastated. Because you dating. But, they, but it's like they're trying to play you. I don't... Like, what the hell they want you to do? This person, I feel like, is trying to play you. Storm warning out here with roll of dice here. Okay? You got the hidden motives concealed, disguised, and lying. Like, they're lying to you. They're hiding something here. It came out in the reverse, but I feel like this person is lying about lying. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm feeling like it came out in the reverse. It says hidden motives, concealed, disguise, and lying. And it did fall out in the reverse. And sometimes I acknowledge these in the reverse. Sometimes I don't. But I'm feeling like this person is lying about lying. Like if you were to ask this person about a lie that you know, you know, you already know the answer to. And they lie to you anyway. It's like that type of energy. Like, or either they're just... I don't know. It's, I don't. Okay. 
But that's what I have for you guys dealing with the fire sign. I'm going to leave this message here and I'm going to be out. I will see y'all in the next reading. Okay. Bye.